My 38 male girlfriend 32 female of 3 years owns a porn store strip club. I want her to sell it before I propose. My girlfriend was left a porn store and strip club by her dad when he died 8 years ago. He left it go to be a shithole, but she poured her entire inheritance and took out some loans to revamp them both. It is now a popular, well-managed establishment. She makes a decent life, but I have issues and I want her to sell it before I will even think of proposing. I don't think the adult industry is a positive place for anyone. I can't tell my strict Catholic parents what she does for a living. She has to put a lot of time into the club. Saturday, we had plans to go see Shazam and have dinner. She got called that a bartender's kid is sick and she ended up working until 4 a.m. due to no coverage. This is a regular occurrence in some capacity. She just shrugs at me and tells me it's part of being an active owner of a successful business. She ends up working until 4 a.m. at least four times a week. She is adamant that she will not sell. I need some good points as to why she should. Points involving children will not work as she doesn't want children. Too long didn't read my GF owns a strip club. I want to give her good reasons to sell. Update 1. I decided to tell her that the sexual side of the store and club bothered me, and that I wanted her to sell it before I would propose. I made breakfast before she left to go over to the store for the day. She dumped me on the spot. She said she enjoys her work, loves the adult industry, and has no plans on selling ever. She said she has worked too hard and too long for that sort of bullshit. We don't live together, so we walked through her apartment to gather my things. We gave each other's keys back. She she already blocked me on Facebook. TLDR she dumped me for telling her I want her to sell the club. Update 2. I broke up with my ex-girlfriend against Reddit's advice because she owns a strip club porn store that she inherited from her father and she refused to sell. I ended up telling my parents what she did for a living. And they were shockingly cool with it. My dad said he even had his suspicions because he knew her dad growing up and figured it out through the last name. Her dad was well known in town. I went to the club last week to try to talk to her. But she was covering for a bartender again. She was dressed up as Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and she did the gun cocking motion with a bat like Harley did in the movie while I was across the room heading towards the bar. Next thing I know, I was being escorted out by the bouncers. She blocked me completely on everything. I was thinking of sending her a snail mail letter, but does that even work? I am not even sure what I would say. Too long didn't read I want my ex back. I don't know how to start. Ha! You're a grown man and you were worried about what your parent would think of your girlfriend owning a strip club. Who gives a duck? You can't please everyone and that including your parent. If you love her you love her don't listen to outside noises. If she is making bank and is happy doing it why would you even ask her to drop that for you? She not ducking around with other dudes. She been loyal to you for 3 years and she a hard working woman. You lost a good one because you weren't a real man even though you're almost 40 and you're selfish. It embarrassing. If you felt so bad about her working so late why don't you help her? Maybe she wouldn't be working till 4am if you were more supportive and figuring out ways to help her instead of complaining about how you dislike her work. You have your own choice if you can't live with her doing what makes she happy then it's your choice. But again, I felt you overreacted if you had a business that she didn't like and it was successful you wouldn't give it up either. If she been taking care of you and the only thing you don't like about her is her business then the problem is you. Story 2 my boyfriend and I have been together for almost 3 years. We've been living together for about 8 months now. It's his house and we agreed that if I cook, clean, whatever I can live with him and save money by not getting a dorm this year. I do pay a small rent to him and I am currently a full-time student. I am not working at the moment because I transferred schools and moved across the state at the beginning of the school year to be near him my university and I need time to adjust. I have severe anxiety so I don't adjust to new places quickly. Now I living together has been fine for the most part. To a degree we are still learning how to live with each other. We were previously long distance so it has been an adjustment always being together. I cook most of the time. I clean the house. Do all the laundry, etc. as we agreed. My boyfriend's only regular responsibility is to take out the trash. I am not perfect. I am obviously human and moving in together has showed me a many new things about my boyfriend. One of those things being that my boyfriend has a lot of lady friends. I don't care who my boyfriend talks to normally. I only really have a problem with one of them. We'll call her Jay. She has a long track record of being inappropriate with my boyfriend and the other guys in their friend group. When I try to talk to my boyfriend about it, he says she's fine because they've been friends for a long time and she's just seeking friendly advice. We get nowhere with those conversations. Anyway, their main way of communication is Discord. Recently, I have noticed he muted her. Presumably so her notifications stop popping up. It bugs me when I see her pop up all the time. But I thought it was sketchy. Regardless, Friday night. 
My boyfriend was busy downstairs so I hopped on his computer to turn on our Minecraft server without bugging him and he had Discord open on his second monitor. At that point, my curiosity was eating me alive and I peeked. I know it's wrong but I read he and Jay's messages. I found out. He was complaining that I let dishes pile up. I have done the dishes every day except for three times total because I was studying for finals. He complained that I let laundry pile up and my clothes are everywhere. He said all I do is lay in bed and play on my phone which is false. He complained that I am too loud and whining out loud because he wasn't giving me attention. I do not have the audacity to do that while he's working which he was when he sent the message I was in lecture when he sent it as well. He also said that he was disappointed I was staying for summer. Last he said that he's slowly losing feelings for me every day. Of course Jay sympathized with him as any person would. I was gobstopped and didn't know what to do. I was confused why he was saying those things. I was confused why he was lying. I had no idea he was supposedly losing feelings. I don't know if that's a regular thing that he talks to his friends about. He hadn't brought up any problems to me and seemed otherwise happy with our relationship. I previously asked if he was okay with me staying over summer and he said yes. I brought the situation up in an offhanded way that night by asking him if he's satisfied with our relationship and if there's anything he needs for me which is not strange because I asked that often. He said that he was very happy with our relationship and that he loved me very much. I don't know if I should admit that I peeped his conversation and confront him. I also don't know if this is serious enough to break up with him because he has not communicated any negativity towards our living situation and I essentially would be breaking up with him out of the blue. If I never looked, I never would have known, ever. I asked my sister about this but she was completely unhelpful and said girl I don't know. I would appreciate an outside opinion or helpful advice about my situation because I feel like I am going crazy. Update. I wasn't going to update this originally, but some fun details have come out and I thought I would share. A lot of people came forward with the consensus to leave him and it was honestly so nice to be validated for once. That really gave me the extra push to carefully plan my exit. I am happy to report I was able to reach out to a family member and they were able to help me move out. I am currently back at my parents place across the state and I have an apartment lined up for fall. I did end up confronting him about his lies. It was messy. He could give me no reason as to why he would make stuff up, most likely protecting himself. He said he was going to feel us out and see where it went, but I don't think he had any intention of communicating his negative thoughts at any point. I did end up saying you just want a mate who will suck your dick and stroke your ego. I can't find the commenter who said that originally, but thank you because it was gold. Which is not something I would usually say. I've always been gentle and domestic with him, never spoken to him out of anger and even in arguments I would never ever make personal attacks in all our years together. You guys should have seen him shrink into a shell. Fun fact, I made that original post a day after my 22nd birthday. The reason why I am updating this now is because it turns out he did in fact cheat on me. Right before my birthday, it is something that had just come out this past week and I found it hilarious that my gut knew something was wrong. The woman he cheated on me with wasn't even the friend Jay I was worried about. I was never worried about that particular woman he cheated on me with because she's married because at least to me that meant something. Anyways, I feel so stupid for staying as long as I did getting played like that. I don't regret looking at his messages. The only regret I have about it is that if I took another minute to look at more of his interactions, I would have seen him cheating on me, right there. At that exact time. But the friend he cheated on me with was never on my radar. After I moved out, I ended up reaching out to Jay and we talked things out. She was upset she never heard my side of the story and we're actually on decent terms now. I deserve so much better. I am glad I left. Thank you for this update. And I'm so happy for you that you picked yourself up and got the heck out of there. So many people stay on fraying threads of hope and end up hurting themselves much worse. Good for you for not letting him get away with how he was treating you. All the best to you going forward.